Good morning. The purpose of this video is to review how to isolate a variable in a mathematical equation. We use this skill quite often in honors physics. And of course, you signed up for physics, not because the math is hard, but because you want to never enjoy action movies the same way again, because those action movies really don't pay attention to physics. Why do we need to isolate a variable in a math equation? Well, remember those variables represent measurements. And if we have to do multiple steps in order to solve a physics equation, we have to round those measurements after every single step. That makes the error get larger and larger and larger as we keep on doing the calculation. However, if we isolate a variable in a mathematical equation first, we don't have to round those measurements until the very end of the problem, thereby saving us a lot of work. When we get into talking about significant figures, you'll see why this is important. So what do we mean by isolating a variable? Let's take a really simple equation, the density equation. Density is defined as how much matter there is in a given amount of space. Or density equals mass divided by volume. Well, let's say I want to rearrange this equation to solve for mass. In order to isolate that variable, What I could go ahead and do is I can multiply both sides by V. And if I multiply both sides by V, M is now isolated to be equal to the density times the volume. That's isolating a variable in an equation. Then if I have measurements, I can just plug those measurements in. And I'll just make something up. And then I can solve this to be uh, 7.5 grams. And I just made up those values there. And notice I now didn't have to round after every single step. Let's do something a little more difficult after we see the rule for isolating a variable. So the rule of thumb for isolating variables is you perform the operations opposite of PEMDAS, opposite of please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Instead, you're going to use SADMEP, subtraction, addition, division, multiplication, exponents, parentheses. If you can think of another way to remember SADMEP besides SADMEP, Go ahead and use it. Whatever will help you remember how to isolate a variable. So here is one of the equations of motion. It's actually going to be your second equation of motion that we're not going to see, or we're going to see this in the not so distant future. So what I've got here is the equation velocity equals the initial velocity plus acceleration times time. So a couple of interesting points with this equation. And remember, we're using this equation right now as an example on how to isolate a variable. You don't need to know what these things are yet. I just want to point out that any time you have a little tiny zero by a variable, that means initial. So this is initial velocity. You'll see that quite a bit in this class. If I want to rearrange this equation to isolate A for acceleration, I'm going to use SADMEP. So the first thing I'm going to do is anything that I can subtract away from acceleration. So I'm going to look at initial velocity here. And I'm going to subtract initial velocity from both sides. So it's going to turn into V minus V naught 
equals AT. So I have subtraction taken care of. I have no addition to do. And I've got multiplication. Well, here, A is multiplied by T. So I'm going to do the opposite of the multiplication and do division. So just divide both sides by T. T cancels out, or time cancels out. And all of a sudden, I have isolated my variable. Velocity minus initial velocity divided by time, or t, equals acceleration. Same equation, rearranged to solve for acceleration, or a. This is another simple example. Some of the equations you see on the worksheet attached on Schoology are going to be more complicated. Some of them are going to be equations that are going to be a little bit more difficult to rearrange than ones we'll encounter here in honors physics, but it's great practice. So review the video as needed and then attempt the worksheet in your notebooks and you will see that worksheet on Schoology. Good luck.